So I have a question. Can starvation actually give you a longer life? I mean, it's a weird question because, of course, it's going to starve you and you're going to die early, right? But a version of starvation can actually extend your life. Let's talk about that. So when you don't eat as frequently, you actually live longer. Not eating or fasting stimulates something very, very, very interesting. It stimulates certain genes that help you survive and repair. And one of those genes is called sirtuins. So sirtuins have very interesting effects. It's actually quite fascinating because they're the anti-aging gene, okay? So when you have DNA breaks, uh, this gene can repair those. So you have in the cell, you have these little proofreaders that go in there and look for errors in the genetic code. You know, they want to actually clean out any mutations, which are little alterations in the genetic code. So you have all these different things that can happen in this code. And there could be little breaks, there could be um, mutations, where well, your body has the capacity to scan, find the air, clip it out, replace it with something new, and fix it. And it's very, very accurately done. It's actually just mind-blowing. So sirtuins is involved in the repair process because you don't want to have an alteration in your genetic code because that can lead to mutations and cancer and early death. Sirtuins actually decrease oxidative stress. They increase your resistance to stress. So when someone says that intermittent fasting is stressful for the body or the adrenals, it's not. It actually makes you really tough. It makes you resist stress at the cellular level. It protects you. It decreases inflammation. It actually helps you make new mitochondria. Those are the energy factors of the cell. They, it decreases free radical damage. So it's kind of like a very powerful antioxidant. All right, now let's talk about some other things that can also decrease oxidative stress. One is beta hydroxybutyrate. Okay, what is that? That is a type of ketone. So look at this. We have ketosis and IF together can help you decrease oxidative stress and help you live longer. That's cool. And here's another one called resveratrol. It's that chemical compound, that vital nutrient in red wine uh, that has a capacity to increase the lifespan in yeast and in fish by 59%. There's not a lot of studies in humans at this point. It's still ongoing. Well, they did a study with mice, giving them this compound on a high fat diet, and they compared it to an, another diet. They found that it increased survival, it increased insulin sensitivity, which is very interesting. So if we combine intermittent fasting with healthy ketosis, with a lot of red wine, in fact, you're not going to even feel stress at all, right? You're going to feel really good all the time. And I'm just being sarcastic. Um, if you want to take this, take it in a um, supplement form, not in the alcohol form, because the alcohol is not going to help you live longer. It's going to mess with your liver. And I'm not even recommending you take this supplement. All I'm saying is that this has the capacity to decrease oxidative stress. And um, there's a lot of research right now. Uh, I would rather have you focus on your foods healthy ketosis, and definitely intermittent fasting because it has the potential to really help you live a lot longer. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.